See how fast that was? That was fast as lightning. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 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 I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do this specific motion effect, which I haven't quite given it a name because I don't know what it's called or what to call it, but I'm gonna give you a super fast tutorial on how to do this effect. I ramble, I'm so bad at fast things. So the example that I'm going to show you is actually from this job that I did where I wanted to create this motion effect without having to chuck it into After Effects and needless to say after watching about 50,000 videos do separate things along the same line I think I found out the most efficient way of doing it. And so this tutorial is going to be doing it on a couple of different pieces of footage. We've got a gameplay, we've got a, a drone footage and we've got a normal piece of footage. So uh, let's just go ahead and have a look on how we actually create this effect okay so here I am I have my clip that I want to do the effect to and all I want to do is I'm going to use this to give it more movement more speed so the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to increase the speed of the overall clip just to give it a bit more kind of oomph. I might be doing that by 110% and that just gives it a bit more um, hecticness because obviously when you're playing a game it can feel way more hectic than when you look back at the footage and you're going at half the speed so the simplest way of doing that is right clicking on the clip going to speed and duration and just changing the speed to 110%. You can do it either that way or if you want to do speed ramps, I'll go into that in the next clip. So just for those who just want to know the effect, let's just, you know, concentrate on doing it quickly. So there we go. We've got the clip here. And the first thing I'm going to actually have to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to nest the sequence and I'm going to just call this card clip one you don't need to do this but if you want to be organized it's the best way to do it so basically now it is a clip of its own it's it exists as itself so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the effects panel we're going to type in time warp and time warp over here is the only effect that we actually need to create this so if we drag and drop that on our clip so now we've got the time warp effect on the actual clip itself all we need to do is just time by speed then we've got to make sure speed is at a hundred percent because we're not slowing down the clip we're just keeping it the same all we want to do is add the motion effect into 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 the the, the effect then we scroll down all the way to motion blur enable motion blur and once that's enabled so all we need to do is make sure we can see shutter control there change that to manual and then we're just going to whack our shutter angle all the way up to something like 550 if we want to go crazy that is it but as you can see the red line here and if i try and press enter there's no chance we're going to be able to replay this efficiently so what we need to do is we need to do the most boring thing in the world which i never like to do and that's hit enter and render the files yeah so um luckily you don't have to sit here while i show this example so if i'm going to click my fingers it's going to be finished Okay, we're back and uh, it's now finished. That's right. The longer the clip, the longer that's going to take. But hopefully it looks the way you want it to look. Usually it looks pretty good. So let's have uh, fingers crossed. And as you can see, it's got this wild, more frantic, motion blur-esque um, a feel to it is it you know you can see it in loads of different scenarios it will increase the height of the uh, the sense of uh, whatever the bloody and I'm talking about but it's a cool effect I like it and a lot of people use it in lots of montages and it can be used for absolutely anything so let's have a look once again at some more ways of doing it so what I would suggest after that has finished rendering and if you're happy with the results then I would right click and save as preset save it as whatever you want I've got loads as you can see and I I would call this something like um, movement uh, motion blur effect and saving that means you don't have to go through all the uh, the boring stuff again so let's try it with another clip and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it again and I'm going to show it in a different term so if you want to look at some different ways that you can use this effect stick around we're going to do some more stuff so I want to create something very similar to the effect that I did before that kind of you know the the other one that I did in After Effects so I want to try this out and see how well this can work so I've got my drone shot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scale of that right click on the FX portion in the top left hand corner go to time remapping and speed so the opacity line has now become the speed line um, of the actual clip so if I hold control and click at any point I've created a marker where I can now change the speed of the after the bit of that clip so I'm gonna show you a kind of scene of how to do this so I want this to come in fast and then to slow down and in fact I want to use this segment of the 
to clip and I want it to go fast and then I want it to go slow up there. So I'm gonna add that clip in there where I want it to go slow and I'm gonna increase the speed of this bit by, let's say 200%. Let's see how it looks. So it's gonna, see it's still quite a slow clip. So maybe 300%, it's a lot faster. Let's keep going up. Let's take it all the way up to 500 and see how that looks. So yeah, but it does have uh, that, that static point of changing. Uh, speeds. So all we need to do is we need to grab that and pull it to the right and that will slowly create a little ramp and I can even twizzle those to make it a nice S curve. There we go. Okay, so that's cool and all but you still have this jaggedness. So let's see if this effect will change it. So with this clip all we have to do is we've changed the speed. Let's right click, let's make that a nest. Let's not worry about the name too much. Add the movement motion blur and let's click enter and render. So we're back with this clip that's finally been uh, finished and as we can see it kind of works not hugely well i think in the certain movement movement i think in certain movements it works fantastic like this zoom over looking down but i think when the camera jitters up that's where we lose the problem but that's good to know that means we can effectively use this effect to create effects like this what's of the effect word so we've tried gaming and we've tried uh, drone footage now it's time to look at some normal footage and to see how we can use this effect so i've got my clip here i'm going to change my settings again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some speed ramping so if i go to time remapping speed and then control click on where i want it to go fast so what i kind of want to do with this is i want that to actually be slower so i'm going to drop that down right click on it go to uh time interpolation change it to optical flow that just changes how the frames blend together uh, and if i drop that it should give me a nice blur maybe if i drop it to 50 percent let's see how that works whoa and then we want that to go back to being fast Right, so let's change it to 200 on either side. Got our clip. I'm going to just blend these together more so. Uh, if I just change that one. There we go. A little bit of a, a moment. Okay, so that's probably too fast. So we'll drop that to 170. About. Okay, so we've got our clip there. Right, it's not perfect, but let's uh, let's change it over. Let's nest the sequence. It's now been nested. Let's go to our effects and use the preset that we made before, which is movement motion bish bosh bash press enter let's be done with it and here we go we have finally got this effect now let's have a look Woo! easy sweet it worked so the science behind this i'm going to just do a bit of explaining and the reason why this isn't always fantastic so all it is doing technically as you can see here is adding multiple layers of the same frame so it's taking that object within the frame and just duplicating it to create a fake looking motion blur it's the same principle as when uh, you've got your cursor and you add you know that um that thing. So what we're actually doing is exactly what the pointer trail is like, the mouse pointer trail of course, and that is just creating multiple objects to really uh, stim stimulate, simulate a motion effect. And that's exactly what this does. Whoever used this uh, must go to hell. That's true, that's, uh, that's a fact because look at that, it's horrific. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this video helped you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to uh, smack that like button. It does uh, the world of good. I really appreciate you for, for spending some time to sit down today. What a bloody hell happened to my throat? I really appreciate you sitting down today and actually taking some time out of your day to either enjoy this video or learn something new. So if you learn something new, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. I've got way more content coming, so please stick around. I'm, I'm just saying, like, please just stay. So I, I will see you in the next one. No.